Good risings, happy neighbours, happy people, my audience. As you know, my mantra is prove your claim. Well, I'm going to prove my claim. Tonight is the 31st of March 2024. And all my happy neighbours are pleasantly asleep. And they think that tonight they are going to lose an hour's sleep as the clocks fall backwards. Well, I can assure you, they are going to lose more than one hour's sleep. Because I'm of sound mind and body. I am not psychologically unstable. I'm full of aware of my faculties. I have no intentions of harming myself or killing myself. I just want to enjoy my peaceful right, my inalienable rights, to enjoy my life, enjoy the fruits of my labour, and also enjoy a calm environment without having the stress, hassle and worry that these people have fetched upon my inalienable rights, my birthrights, my human rights that are protected in law, which the law cannot protect us with at the moment. So just to prove to you my claims, because I will never make a claim unless I can prove a claim, just to prove to you I'm still disconnected from the mains. So now, I'm awake, and I think it's only right that I should do my things that I would like to enjoy while being awake, which is to carry on enjoying my company, enjoying the TV, getting my washing done, heating my hot water so I have my creature comforts, and I want to enjoy my life. As part of that, sometimes my routine doesn't comply with their routine, so... I'm going to demonstrate that I am self-sufficient and I can manage by being off-grid. I will be doing my washing, I will be doing my tumble drying, I will be running my distiller. Because as we know, if you drink municipal water from Anglian water, it is tampered with. It has got chemicals in, it's got fluoride in. They use graphene filters. Those graphene filters... Uh, break down into microparticles, which comes through your taps. Yes, so I had to distill my water, another cost incurred to me, because these corporations do not serve me well. Yeah, so if you know about graphene or not, I suggest you do your homework. Now, as we know, the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, that is said that for a reason. That is when the calendars change from 13 months to 12 months. Do your homework, people. But my sleepy neighbours, they're going to get a bit of a awakening. A proper Paul Draper 38 folding way DN37 9SE rude awakening. I'm sorry, but this is for real. Yeah, and I do not mess about. I do not make a claim. I cannot um, prove. So I will prove to the world and the audience that I am self-sufficient and off the grid. As you can probably see, here is my lovely self-sufficient backup plan, my generator. I've got plenty of fuel um, to enjoy my evening and my inalienable rights. Just listen to the peace and calm. Okay, now I'm going to disturb the peace. But I'm committing a, a small crime to protect a bigger crime. And that is allowable in law. It is actually acceptable as your defense so i'm about to fire up the beast and enjoy my inalienable rights yes happy people yes she's up and running and yes i now have electricity my house is self-sufficient as you can see my house is now lit up like a christmas tree so i can enjoy the fruits of my labour. I can enjoy wandering around my property safely without any problem, without any harm or injury. Yes, I can survive. Can people survive if the lights go out? I certainly can. And if I wish to enjoy the pleasant evening air in the garden, then I've got plenty of lighting to enjoy the pleasant, pleasant evening air. Oh dear, 
I've left the light on. How wasteful of me. Maybe I should be thinking of the environment. All this fossil fuel, you know, from dinosaurs. Yes. Let's save the environment. Net zero. Yes. Klaus Schwab. Yes, you're right. We need to be thinking of others. Make a sacrifice. Save money. This fake fiat currency. Yes. Give me a CBDC. Yes, control my life. A smart meter. Yes, I want to fucking live in harmony with my neighbours. Well, let me just assure you, I'm living quite happily, being self-sufficient in my garden. In this lovely, lovely 31st of March, which is Easter Sunday. If only people knew what Easter Sunday was really about. And just to prove to you, I'm still disconnected. Can you hear that pairing generator just ticking over? And I've not ramped it up yet when it might get a little bit more noisy. Yes, my neighbours are going to love me. I love to be a nice neighbour. So, my forefathers who gave their lives to uh, protect my rights, liberties and freedoms hasn't been in vain. Because I've learned and I've educated myself on how to survive any shit show they want to bring forward. I won't forget their sacrifices. I will make a stand and I will, will get this message out there. Thank you and please help support, awaken these sleepy, sleepy people. So, I'd just like to finish this short video by saying as part of my inalienable rights, I have the right to defend my property, up to and including deadly force under castle law. So anybody that wants to breach my or cause me loss, harm, suffering, trespass on my property, I've got full surveillance and I am well prepared to defend my property lawfully, legally, and I will. So if you are not invited, if I do not know you, you are not welcome. Step onto my property and I will defend it. And I will do it with what I deem necessary, no matter whether you are the police, any Crown agents, the enforcement agents, or my neighbours. So I don't make a claim, as you can see, without proving it. And I wouldn't like to prove the extent I can defend my property. All I wish is to continue my life in a peaceful manner. I don't care about making friends with neighbours. I've got more than enough friends and contacts in my phone book. Talking of contacts, one contact I'm only one phone call away from is an ex-government secret assassin that used to go on operations and he used to kill and murder people for the government in other countries. Yes, people, this is what we have in our system. Now, wake up. I do not wish to take my own life, I am not going to harm myself, but if the system wants to take me down because they see me as a threat and turn me into a martyr, so be it. But all my friends and family know who I am, what I'm about, and I've got layers of protection and I've backed up everything and distributed it accordingly. So all this evidence will not go to waste. I will be looking at performing an affidavit. Yes, and I will be taking this to the highest levels in society to expose these criminals. So I'll just wish you all good night. You don't have to suffer the pairing generator that is making my life comfortable, so I'm self-sufficient. But how would you cope in this situation? How would you survive? Because you like to think about it, because one day this could be you. Good night.